Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to essentially do single port forwarding to access a service uh, that was only internally accessible on a Windows machine. And we were able to access it not only from our Kali machine, but also be able to properly interact with the service through the browser. So really hope you find this video useful. Please enjoy the video. Let's check out the service that's running on port 8000 first. And um, again, it is most likely a web, web, uh, web server. And the way that we will be able to interact with it so, is by using Chisel. So we have to do, <laughs> not, not that. So we have to be able to essentially port forward it um, so that we can interact with it, hopefully in our own browser, etc. So we need the we need a Linux one, so like that. Uh, let's totally get it, and then unzip chisel. Sorry, gzip, like so. Yeah, chisel. There it is. We can move Chisel to this, make it, make it executable. But the most interesting takeaway so far is just, we saw a non-default port, that's interesting, okay? And the these uh, more fancy techniques of getting more information is uh, can be helpful to, to clarify that. We don't know the path sadly of the other because it's running as a system process and I'm not quite uh, sure how to retrieve that, but that's okay. Hopefully you can find out. So we need one for Windows as well. Hmm. So we can do this one right here. It's just running as the same version, so let's totally get that as well. We can just call it something like uh, Chisel Windows XC. Doesn't matter. All right. So let's host the web server here. And then let's double you get. What do I call it? Chisel Windows XC. Chisel Windows dot .exe and we can output it into Chisel Windows .exe like so. All right, so. Now that we have it transferred, we can run Chisel. So let's say So server P eighty eighty one and then dash dash reverse. That looks correct. And then on the Windows side. We can run just Windows XC. With client IP port. Okay, so client. Okay. So like so, and then our sock. There we go. So now we have a session established. Mm. Now, one thing I one thing I like to make sure that I have is just that in the proxy chains config, I have it as socks five, 
and then running on 1080. That's just how I like to do it. Mm. So, if you want to do the same, feel free. We can also run this as a background process. So when I run jobs, it's running there. And... So, we have this port, right? So let's try to reach it if it is actually a website. So we can do something like proxy chains, curl, and then it will be on our local host with how Sox proxies work and uh, Chisel. So we can reach that one on 8000, I believe. And uh, let's try that. And there we go. So we can actually reach this website now, which is uh, very, very cool. So we can do the same. Um, we can do the same in the browser. If we use uh, Foxy Proxy and Proxy Chains, so go to Proxy right here. Make sure that you're using Sox5, listening on the loopback address, and then the port. And in my case, I use 1080 uh, SSN. So yeah. So now we can go to localhost in an 8000, I believe. Making sure we have this toggled on, and we can already see that it's uh, trying to find a flight, which is cool. And yeah, here we go. Hmm. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video, but once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused with what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.